Once upon a time, there was a man who had a big garden. He had planted many fruit trees and cared for them till they, till they bore fruits. Now, he wanted to harvest the fruits and sell them to make money for his family. One fine day, while picking the fruits with his son, uh, the man saw a stranger sitting on a branch of a tree and tricking fruits. The man, man became angry and shouted, Hey you! Why are you? What are you doing on my tree? Aren't you same of same of creeping? The stranger replied, The stranger sitting on the he, branch looked at the gardener but didn't reply and continued picking fruits the fruits the gardener was very angry and shouted for the whole year i have taken care of this trees i have no right to take the fruits without my permission so come down at once the stranger on the tree answered why should i come down this is the garden of god I, and i am the servant of god so I have to pick, I have the right to pick these fruits. We should not interfere with the work of God and his servants. The gardener was surprised that this answer. And what to learn? He told the stranger to come down from the tree. And the stranger climbed down the tree. The gardener tied him to the tree and began beating him with a stick. The stranger, the stranger began to scream. Why are you beat? Why are you beating me? You have no right to do this. The gardener fell no and answered and continued beating him. The stranger screamed, "Don't you fear God?" Or beating an innocent man. The gardener answered, why, so, why should I fear? This wood in my hand belongs to God, and I am the servant, servant of God. You should interfere in the work of God and his servant. The stranger hesitated and then spoke, Wait, don't beat me, I'm sorry for taking the suits. This is your garden, I sh and I should seek your permission before taking the fruits. So please forgive me and set me free. The gardener smiled and said, "Don't you, don't, don't use, don't use God's name to justify your ill-conceived actions." Then the gardener, you untied him and let him go free. Do you know the moral? Tell me.